What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we return to Pipestone Golf Club for the back nine. You guys saw that I shot a 45 on the front nine here. And yeah, didn't play well at all. Um, just a couple terrible blow up holes. Hopefully that won't happen on the back nine. Tell you the truth, I would not like to start out my season with shooting a terrible round. All right, so let's see if we can pull it together here on the back nine. Um, we've got a 430 par four to start. Pretty difficult hole. Um, there's out of bounds looming closely on the left and i was fading it all day and that one didn't move and well folks we were flirting with precarious, it oh man but we're stayed in so we're good to go i didn't even know what it like extended as far out from the subdivision as it did oh my goodness that would have been disaster to start off the back nine but Instead, we've got a manageable 9-iron into the green from about 150. Hit it really well. I just get caught up in the rough around the green, so a little delicate chip here. Yeah, not great, but that's a lot better than what I've been doing. So there you go. Got about a six, six and a half foot putt back up the hill for par. That would be a nice way to start out the back nine. Par on a 430 par four. Oh. And I miss high. Couldn't make them all. All right, so that's a bogey. I mean, when it's over 425... I'm not going to get mad at a bogey, but I mean, you know, it's not, I want to do better than that. Like I'm obviously trying to get a par, like I don't care how long the par four is, but if it's over 425 and I get a bogey, that's not terrible. Um, doesn't mean it's good, but it's not terrible. So off to the next hole, another par four back the other way. This drive goes pretty far, but again, going pretty far to the right uh, from where I was aiming. I mean, I was playing for that, but still, I'd like it to go straighter. So got to go over that tree right in front of that green. I barely got over the highest branch like i think i'm cleared up by maybe a um, foot hit from right here and um that's where i'm at that 10 footer for par sorry missed that shot again yeah so just showing you where my chip ended up yeah i did not get that on the green i hit it a little thin which is why it barely cleared but it was also a downhill lie so it was a pretty tough shot Ooh, but it doesn't matter when the putter is white high. Mm -hmm. That's more like it, guys. Where's that been all round? And he makes his. Clutch putts. Clutch putts with me and Ty. Yeah, Tyler and I both make par there. Figured I'd show you his putt. He played lights out golf. I think he shot a 76 I think is what he told me when we were done. So, yeah. Good going, dude. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So, off to the 12th hole. The crap. I think this is the longest hole on the course. 540 par 5. Holds on. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the longest hole. Um, again, right of the fairway. There's actually some water over there. There's actually a river that runs through where those trees are on the right, but um, luckily I didn't slice it bad enough. And uh, 
Got an uphill lie there. I popped my five wood up a little bit. Wind helps it a little bit as the last hole is into the wind. So now this one's back the other way. About a 110 gap wedge onto the center of the green. Yep, that's a good one. Right there. That was a good shot. The swing, however, with the wedge doesn't look so good, does it? All right. Down the hill for birdie. Uh, stop, stop, please. Stop, please. Oh, come I'm on. You. I'm begging you. Just now this up. one. No, Dad, it's fine. Is that what they call punking somebody or no? Yeah, no, yeah, he punked Dad himself. Yeah, we, saying I we told you to pick chance. it up. Um, they played max two putt on that hole as well. I told you there was going to be a couple holes where that happened, and that was one of them. But when I putted back up the hill, it stay it stayed where it stopped, like it didn't roll back. So it it wasn't as bad. So I played that one out and got a bogey. Sided, but Good four iron here on the par three. Yeah. A little creek that I had to carry. So um that was a little bit intimidating of a shot. But I've hit the four iron pretty well today. The uh, other time I hit it was on number six and I hit it pretty good. So yeah. Practice has definitely paid off with the four iron. Nice. Now this was a really, really good chip shot. Hit in front of my marker. Oh, really? that's what we like to see. All Off right, the folks. down slope. That one's wedge worthy. Get it to about four feet. I had one of those one down slope really, chip shots on six. I did a lot go. better with this one. I know that's a little long of a putt to tap it in with a wedge on, but there was a group behind us. That's why you didn't get my two putts on 12. All right, so two over through four holes on the back. One of those bogeys was a 430 par four. But we can't quite bounce back because it goes OP. After all that work. Trying to come back from a terrible start comes to a screeching halt with that one shot. That's the rules. But I'll tell you something. I drove four hours to play here. I was not going to let it go to waste. I was determined to bounce back from that. So. Let's see what I can do on these last four and a half holes. Pretty long bogey putt here. Honestly, if we save a double here, that would honestly be an accomplishment because that's basically a par with a penalty. Right? I can do this. I think we can all agree, all you guys watching, whenever you go OB but still make a double, you're feeling pretty good about yourself. All right, got about seven feet. Nice putt. Okay. All right, that's basically a bogey. Really good. A par really good putt. All right, off to the 15th. OB right again. Lake on the left. Real tough tee shot. Excellent. Excellent tee ball. Right down the middle of the fairway. All right. Come on, hit a good one. A little bit weird of a follow-through, but we're on the green. 
All right, green and regulation. There we go. That's good stuff. All right. Ooh, just misses the birdie to tranquilize the double, but right, hey, bad. par's not bad. We'll take that. All right, last three holes. Got a um, creek on both sides of the fairway that kind of goes under like a tunnel, like 210 out. Absolutely smash it over that creek. Just rolls off the left side of the fairway. All right. I have no idea what it was that was making me ultra-focused and just hit, hitting shot after shot. But it was working, as you can see here. That one's even tighter than the other one. Yeah, this... Oh, look at that. 12 feet for birdie. Words cannot describe how much I wanted to make this. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Drop. Go in, please. Mm. Ugh. Like on number 10, he overreads the break. It's fine. <laughs> Another par, though. We'll take that. Now I'm going to show everybody's tee shot on this hole. The 17th, out of bounds to the right of the green, water to the left of the green. The pin was about 10 feet away from the water on the left. And Steve hits an absolute dart just left of the pin. Oh, man. Yep. The hardest possible spot for a pin location to be on this hole. To be honest, a lot of pins were like that today. All right. Get there. Let's see if Dad can do any better. Probably not. No, you're in, the in fact, he goes in the water. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be doing this to him right now. <laughs> but I can't say that I haven't done it too, so there you go. All right. 177 yards, got seven iron, downwind a little bit. Yeah, I know. Um, probably should be hitting one more club, but once you get to six iron, you start getting a little risky, and um, I figure just hit one on the right side of the green, try to two-putt for par. I push it a little bit, but I still hit it really well, so we're pin high. Oh. No, it stayed up. Got a chip down the hill, sloping towards the little pond. This is a really intimidating chip shot because if I hit it too hard, it's gone. It's in the water. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, but. Shut up. How close is that? Close enough to be a gimme. Yes. Oh, yes. What a chip. As good as it gets without going in the hole. We are hanging on. Three pars in a row, guys. <laughs> How long was that one, Steve? 18 inches. About 18 inches. So, yeah, about a foot and a half. Got our par. Absolutely clutch chip shot. I, to be honest, the, the wedges got better as the day progressed. I think that was part of it, you know? Like, with it being the first round of the year, being 55 degrees... Sometimes it's a little harder to get the feel for the wedges. We are on the plateau. 
All right, last hole. We're almost done. Can we hang in there, get another par, maybe even get a birdie and break 40 on this back nine? Now, the drive was okay. I had about 260 of the pin downhill. There's water that comes in closely on the left. Yeah, as you can see, the creek kind of bends into the green, which makes the green start on the right side and end on the left side. So I decided to play it conservative, had about 110 in. And would have liked it closer, but hey, it's on the green. At least we didn't completely choke, skull, chunk it, or what any other bad shot you can think of. All right. So we've got a putt for 84. 39 in the back, probably about 50 feet, longest putt of the day. That's what I'm talking about. Tap in par 40 on the back nine, finish it with four straight pars. in front of a fellow high school golfer. Great way to begin the season. Yeah, I've shot better before, but 85 in February after driving four hours and having my legs cramped under the steering wheel, driving that long, I'll take an 85. Like, that's that's good on a course that I've never played before in the middle of February, in the middle of winter with a 131 slope. That is nothing to be ashamed of. Um, oh, my gosh. Almost a 3,400-yard back nine, and I shoot 40? That's good stuff. That's what we want. We need more of those. Just, I could not find the fairways today. You know, you saw me spraying it quite a bit, um, especially on the front nine. The back nine was a little bit better. I didn't miss the fairways by as much, apart from 14. But honestly, only two out of 14 fairways, that is way too low of a percentage. We need to get, the, we need to get fairways to about half. Half of all eligible fairways we need to hit, I feel like, if we want a good chance to break 80. Um, 8 out of 18 greens and regulation is okay. Um, I had a good time out of the rough. I had a good day with my irons, which is good. I've been practicing that four iron. I used it a couple times today. Both times I hit it pretty well. Um, so, yeah, the practice over the winter. I feel like it's paying off. I mean, I mean, there's definitely evidence to support that, right? Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Pipestone Golf Club, if you're ever in the Dayton area, I totally recommend. Great course. It was in great condition. The greens were in good shape. The bunkers were beautiful. Arthur Hill's design, good stuff, good course. Um, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in Michigan for the next one. Well, hopefully we can keep playing good golf like we saw in that back nine, pick up right where we left off in the next round, and go from there. 2021 season. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.